Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tying Seba Streamers. Um, this time we tying a streamer with the uh, new twist hair. Here, this one from uh, Saibai. It's a new product, probably a replacement for the uh, so popular saltwater flesh hair. And we're tying this today on a Kamakatsu hook. It's a SC1520. A really nice hook for seabass, for smaller flies, um, use bigger ones as well later than in the season when you fish for the big fish. But this is a all round hook for seabass. So we just cut the uh, thread, get everything in position, go all the way back to the hook point, and then uh, we take our material. This is how it looks. We tie it in white and chartreuse. It's a um, really soft material. Got a lot of volume to it, but it's really, really light. Um, I think you do take a little bit more for tying than you use of the um, of the EP fibers. Um, so you can't tie as many streamers with it as you would be able to do when you tie uh, fiber streamers from EP or similar fibers. Um, However, we tie in the tail first, just tape it a bit, let it stand maybe three centimeters above the hook so we don't have a too long tail, which uh, gives us a little bit of stability for the, um, for the material to lay on top. As always, just fold it back and then we just cut it in lengths and I want to taper it a little bit while cutting. So we just do it in multiple cuts. Just spread that a little bit again so we can actually tie it down a bit. Always do the cutting first because otherwise the fibers are so long that you trap them the whole time with the bobbin. And I'm just getting annoyed by it. So, like that, fold that back. Just flare it with your thumb a little bit around the hook and just tie it down with a few tight wraps. Um, this material is really soft so you, the thread is really grabbing into the material um, makes it stay really strongly onto the hook. It's a good thing. I fished it already. It's uh, not tangling that uh, that easily compared to EP fibers. Got a really really nice movement in the water. Um, so I think definitely one of the, uh, the better materials uh, for fishing for sea bass in the uh, upcoming season. So, if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. So we take our top collar then, that's uh, chartreuse, just tie it in like that. And here we really tie it in onto the top, taper it as well a little bit while cutting. Just saves us a step later on. And we need a little bit more of the white as uh, the length is a little bit too short to do it on with one piece. And uh, so we don't waste any material. We just Cut it into quarters. And use it all on the belly side. The belly side can always be a bit shorter as I'm usually uh, cutting free the hook bend anyway. Um, so you don't have to use long, long fibers there. That would be just a waste of material. And then, when we've done that, take the, uh, the fibers and fold them back. This material is a little bit trickier to hold, I think. Not really that it's difficult, but uh, it's just uh, a little bit more fighting against what you want to do with it. Um, and to get it nice and not mixed up. And just take your time while doing it. As soon as you figured out the material, you'll be fine anyway. Um, and then you 
tight quicker as well. So this looks good already. One more step. Take a little bit more of the yellow now. For the head, that was the remaining piece of what we cut off. And then we take uh, the white we cut off from the first bit. Go all the way back to the bulk of the last step. And then just fold it back with two hands, uh, with one hand. And just look around if everything is in place. If you don't see the hook shining through, and then you can just tighten it. Cut the thread, and apply a little bit of super glue onto the nose to secure it. Glue aside, and this material you really it's a little bit hard to uh, brush out, so you can do that really gently. I wouldn't pull too hard, um, it's just not really brushable. But it also doesn't need that much brushing, or it doesn't need any brushing when you fish it, so it's not really that important. Um, we do a little bit of cutting, not much, um, as it's a really nice shape already. but usually do a little bit of cutting. Um, always cut the hook bend free of course. And then we go in a 45 degree angle as always. Take the fly out of the wise for a precise cut. So I don't know if you can see that now. I'm going to cut it just a bit in shape. Just in my wee shape, I usually always cut. The material is a little bit harder to cut. I've got a really sharp scissor here, but uh, it's just not. That easy, it's always bends back a bit. Never mind. Um, so we cut the tail, uh, the, the, the belly bit here a bit more. Hope you can see that. Just get the edges out a bit, or try to get them out a bit. As this material has quite a bit of volume, as I said before, you tie in way less hairs compared to fibers. Um, so, of course, the cutting is a little bit more difficult as well. Um, but because of, of, of uh, the less volume and stiffness of the fibers, um, I think you could also fish it really nicely without doing any cutting. dark outside. Hope uh, that the picture is still fine. But now we have a really nice bait fish pattern and then we'll put in our hard plastic eyes again as they add a little bit of weight and uh, bring the fly quicker down. And that's a really nice thing for me fish for sea bass. Um, also here I put a little bit of glue here in between. Um, just with my dubbing needle, not much, but enough so I can form a base through the head of the streamer, so I'll be able to uh, put the eyes 
on and not just gluing them to the fibers. So it just gives me a bit of stability. Um, for my chartreuse flies, I know it's just a form of taste. I like to use um, red eyes, 8mm here for that size. And for you smaller hooks, I can go down to 6mm. For a bigger one, I use 8. It really depends on the hook. And then I just put the eyes on. Just close the glue a bit. Get everything in position. Let the ice dry for a second. So, ice dry now. Move the eye tool. And then, when you've got the ice dry, you can always recheck the position of your head. Fishy sea bass fly. Enjoy tying. 